Hey everyone, so um, yeah, this is more of a toned down look for me anyways, um, so I'm going to be doing this tutorial, which is very toned down compared to what I used to, um, can't really see the gray that much, my camera doesn't want to pick it up for some reason, um, anyways, the reason why I haven't been doing tutorials lately, my little brother keeps bothering me, um, is just mainly because it has been too hot, and there's really no point in wearing makeup. It's like, well, anyways, California is literally burning. So, um, yeah. Anyways, on with that. Um, I'll try and put more videos up at least once a week or do a review at least. So, which I haven't done in forever. Maybe I might do one after this and upload it later. Um, so, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial or just, yeah. You know what, screw it. Stay tuned if you want to get this look. Perfect. Ah. Okay, anyways, um, so first I applied uh, Urban Decay, like always, and then next I'm just going to take, no, I can't really see out of my mirror, um, I'm going to take a little bit of NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, and I'm just sort of going to just barely tap that on there, yeah, barely, and rub that out, just so it sort of whites out my eyelid. It just like barely whites it out. So this is the stuff you can also um, skip. And the next here, I don't want to lift my palette up, but I'm just going to take Cosmic Violet from um, Bed Nye. One of my favorite purples. I'm just taking an all over shadow brush. And just put that directly in the middle. Now I like to pack this on just so I can get like the full color of it. But that's kind of pretty much the why that, or why I put um, the next pencil down, so I don't have to find a purple base. <laughs> and just put that a little bit above your crease, just to sort of get the shape going. Okay, the next what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add my highlight, just so I don't go too. Um, I don't know, pass to where I want it. And this is just Sugar Cube by, um, is it Estee Lauder? So just put that all right underneath the brow so you don't go higher than what you want. Okay, the next one I'm going to take is, if I can find it, what did I do with it? Oh, and this is Rascal by, um, is it L'Oreal? I'm just going to take the gray right here, because, I mean, the pink, I, w I was going to use it, but the pink is, like, a little bit too light. It's, like, I don't know. It's, it's just too light for me. Um, anyways, so I'm just going to take the gray, and this is, um, all over shadow brush from Sephora. And you're just going to want to put this in the inner corner, wrap it around the purple. And a little more, and then go to the outer edge. So it's kind of like this is going to be like a little round circle in the middle. I'm sorry, I'm like shaking the table. So just follow that shape. Okay, so I went in and um, sort of softened up the edges a little bit. Now, off oh, for the bottom, if I can find a good brush. I'm just going to take Cosmic Violet, again, same color that I used in the, oh, the middle of my eye, and I'm just going to put this on the bottom lash line. And then next, I'm just going to take Amethyst, which is this dark purple from Ben Nye. Looks like that. kind of looks like bluish on my camera, but it's not. It's a nice purple really dark. Well, it shows dark on there. And this is just going to go in the middle. And then if you have more like a really dark gray, then you can use it for the outer corner. I'm just going to take Night Sky by Maybelline, which is like that. It has like a little bit of sparkle in it, which I'm... Ah. And, but it kind of turns out like a grayish black. 
and it just goes nice with the purple. And I'm just going to sort of bring it out into here, and then just barely fade that in just to make it here. I'll put a little bit more on my brush, and I'm just going to darken up it, the, darken it up a little. Yeah, so that there is the basic shape. Um, that's kind of a little messy, so I have to go in and sort of tone it down a little. Yeah, otherwise it's going to be like completely crazy. So anyways, that, and then I'm going to go put mascara and eyeliner on real quick, and I'll be back. Yeah, the camera's like shaking. Ugh. Anyways, um, so for cheeks, I used this one, which is like my mirror right now. Um, this is Bebop by Chanel. Looks like that. Put it back. Hold on. I don't want it to like mess up the view on my camera. Anyways, um, for lashes, use Voluptuous, or Lash of Voluptuous. I love this stuff. Which I think I need to get another one because I think I'm running out. And anyways, for lips, uh, I'm going to do it right now. I'm just going to use my one that I regularly use, which is sand. Like that. And um, I can't, or my mirror is like all messed up. Here we go. That and I'm just gonna put a gloss over that. And this one, I'm just gonna use Coconut Craze by um, or I got it at Victoria's Secret. Um, anyways, just because this has like a golden undertone to it or a golden sheen, I have no clue. But of course, complementary colors like gold and like a purplish or yellow and purple. So, yeah, this will. I don't know, but anyways, it goes together. So that there is a look, um, I will try and do more tutorials, hopefully at least once a week or once every other week, so, or once every two weeks, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoy this one, a lot toned down, which I prefer more than really crazy looks. As of right now, I am, just because it's been so hot lately, but today it's actually cool. But anyways, um... Hope you guys enjoyed this look, and um, thanks for watching. Bye!